morning everyone, welcome back to yet another scorching hot day at the Finca. Um, well, we're not going to be overdoing it today, that's for sure. <laughs> we're forecast to be 40 degrees, what's that? 104 Fahrenheit. Hot. Crikey, yeah, it's, it's just relentless. I mean, it's not, it is normal to be hot um, here in the summer. You know, we don't usually get any rain for at least July and August normally. Um, but this year has been... I think a little bit hotter than usual. Um, Probably because we had such a wet spring. Maybe, yeah. Got to make up for it, maybe. So, um, I've, I'm going to be looking tomorrow, I think, or over the weekend. It's Friday today. You won't see this till tomorrow, Saturday. Um, I'm going to be. We're, we're down. We're down to our last. We've got 2,200 liters of water left. Um, when it gets down to a thousand liters in the big tank, um, I'm about to put my wellies on. And go for a wade, and um, get get the top part most where it's leaking from sealed up again. Um, I'm just going to apply a, a resin to it like we did with the rest of the tank, but without the sealer that all the final coat that actually fell off. Um, I'm not looking forward to that. The smell is and the, it's horrendous. I do have a proper um, respirator mask, but in these temperatures, although it's not quite as hot in the in the hole as it is outside so that might be coming up tomorrow um what are we doing today well i've got to take a trip to the bodega you may Ooh. remember we went a few weeks ago we're out of wine now and that's not good so i'm going to the bodega and whilst i'm there they've got all the recycling bins um we try and recycle as much as we can obviously um we like to buy fresh produce and it's wherever like possible. <laughs> yeah, packaged things, absolutely. And a lot of the supermarkets mm. here now are doing a biodegradable um, bags that you put your produce in, um, all compostable. So that's good. But there's still an element of uh, you know tin cans, plastic bottles. It can't be avoided. Um, so we we recycle absolutely everything we can, and I take a trip once a week to the recycling. Yeah, Spain's pretty good for that because a lot of the you, we don't have a bin collection or anything like that, but they have like community bins in various places, and they tend to have bins yeah. for cardboard, bins for paper, bins for tin cans, bins for bottles, clothes, old clothes. clothes. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty good. So we try and we try and help out as much as we can on that. It becomes addictive, actually. I, uh, I can't bear obsessed, it if I go to the obsessed. normal <laughs> bin and, you know, the normal rubbish bin and I see someone's put plastic bottles in there. <laughs> I'm fishing them out. I can't bear it. <laughs> Very sad. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to be getting on with the ceiling in the loo. I said we're not going to be overdoing it. It is hot, but we keep all the doors and windows shut to try and keep out as much heat as possible. Um, but, yeah, I'm certainly going to make a good start on it. That's my mission for today. Yeah. And um, when I get back, I'll probably just be chief labourer and fetch and carry. Because we're, we're, we won't be that late today because we're going out for this steak night at the yes. local bar. And we're meeting um, a couple of subscribers who have actually become um, quite good friends. They bought a, a similar building well, 10 minutes away. Yeah. And um, the, not the next village, but the one after sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so we're looking forward to that as well. The trouble is we hope it cools down a bit by this evening yes. <laughs> because sometimes the temperatures can drag on and we'll be sat outside of course so Let's what can we say Let's crack, crack on, on. <laughs> right so i've got all my tools assembled drill two nail guns airlines all plugged in ready um glue saws outside in the baking sun but i won't be out there too as little as possible I will be out there as little as possible. Um, I've just looked um, on our page. We've got at this moment we've got 961 subscribers. Fantastic, guys! Thank you so much. Um, another 39, we get that magic thousand. Um, so yeah, if you do enjoy the videos, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost anything. Just a little button somewhere down here, and if you click the bell, select all. Uh, YouTube will notify you of all our future videos so you don't miss any. Um, anyway, crack on. The first thing I'm going to do is um, fix um, a, a little beam up there to carry the end of the, the ceiling. I forgot when I built everything else. Got too excited. 
Um, I'm only putting a thin piece in, it's just to stop them floating and flapping about, that's all. Um, I'll get it in and show you, you can see what I mean. So that's the centre where it's going to sit. Um, I'm just going to screw it in place. Um, I've left it recessed at this end while I decide what I'm going to do to close off that above the ceiling. Because um, if it stuck right out, I'd have a double job with that. So, cool, right, let's get it screwed in. Excellent. Excellent. Right, let's get the last one in. Okay, so it's going in. Um, I've put a couple of matched joints um, towards the end there. Um, you can't really see them. Um, just to make sure I've got enough. Um, if you remember yesterday, I said I needed um, 17 lengths and I only had 15. Well, now. I've just gained myself two lengths there. Um, so we'll get a couple more in and then get some insulation in that cavity up there. Sorry about the light. <laughs> um, it's rather bright, isn't it? And there you go, you can see there. We're going to stuff that with insulation as well. Can you see better from this side with the light off? <laughs> uh, we're getting there slowly. Um, a couple more in and then we'll be ready for the light as well to get the light cut in there right, so we're making progress um, the, the insulation's in well, above what we've done anyway um, so we're just about ready to get the light in I think might need one more piece in I'm just going to measure it and check right ok we'll just get this one in and then we're ready to get the light in um, I put it in place. I'm ready. Watch your ears. It's not an easy space to work in this at all, especially around the loo. Okay, let's have a look at getting the light in, up in the ceiling. Right, so I've marked my spot where I want the centre of the light. It's actually dead centre of the room, um, which we consider the best place. If you can, of course, put them anywhere you want. You can offset them, you can put as many as you want in. So what we're going to do now, we've got the light here, as you can see. Um, he's just going to drop down through the hole when we've cut it. Um, so, we'll show you how we do that. So what we use to cut the hole is a hole saw. People who watch regular will know I am a man of many hole saws. Um, these things are fantastic. What you have basically is an, an arbor. I think it's called an arbor. And um, all the hole saws have the same fitting in them. And basically you just screw them on like that. Then there's four little holes in there and then I'll take that out and show you better once it's in you you line two of the holes up with two of the holes here and as you screw that you screw that then down which sends out two one there two little I don't know spikes divots things um, that lock it on and hold it in place so all you do whack it on 
says. <laughs> Have a look down it, line it up. Until, and if you can see that, they come through. That's it. Then that just goes in your drill and drill your hole. Easy as that. Right, so I've got my thing in my drill. Um, I can't actually see the centre of my hole because it's obscured by the hot cutter. Also, right, we get him in there. I'm actually going through two boards because um, if I just did it in one board, it'd obviously make the outsides of that really thin and weak. All we do, put it in forwards. <laughs> We'll be undrilling a hole and then watch your eyes. In fact, I've got my, my safety sunglasses here, which I'm going to put on. Obviously as well, make sure there's no wires, you don't get any of your cables behind there. Dust yourself down. And um right, so we've done that, I can leave that in there. I can take my safety sunglasses off and I can see. Um all we do then I'm doing this live, not recommended, don't do this at home kids. We just maneuver him down. Someone said in another video that you should never put something lights above um, insulation above it. This has been on probably for three hours and I can hold it in my hand. Um, there's absolutely no fire risk with them at all. Not with these types that is. I can't vouch for all types to say the same. But you can see I'm actually holding it. I've got my hand wrapped all the way around it. Um, so there is no danger. Um, for fire and heat build up. We actually did a test as well with um, the what's it called, the infrared heat gun too and um, same result, you know, we had them on for hours actually under the thing so the heat couldn't escape and um, yeah, it, it went up to about 38 degrees or something and I've got my hand wrapped all the way around this and it's, it's nice and warm but that's about it. So for anyone who's concerned, because um, we have had it before like I say don't worry, we're fine, thank you. And incidentally as well, the insulation we're using is rock wool, um, which is also fireproof, it doesn't burn, um, which is a good barrier to have, especially if you've got wooden ceilings and floors in. Should anything happen, at least it, it, it's like a fire break, or it should help as a fire break. Right, so when we've done that, um, this little pit piece goes in the ceiling. Um, you need to take the bulb out, um, which I'm, should we do it actually? Yeah, not the not right off, I can do that, I can reach it. <coughs> Take the bulb out. I'll bring it closer, because it's dark now. There's like a little spring, spring clip in there. Um, the bulb just drops in, and then that spring goes back in. There's two holes that it locates into, two slots. One there, one there, okay. Then you put it up so you, you obviously put your cap back on and then you just squeeze those two tangs up like that, push it into your hole and they open up, hold it in place. Um, like this. Can you see that at all? Would it be better with the light on or not, do you think? It goes in there, and then you can even rotate it to point in different directions if you want. Tilt it, fancy stuff, all great stuff. There we go, it's in. It gets a nice chrome bead around it, tight as you see them up. That's done. We carry on with the rest of it now. Okay, so um, the bulk of the ceiling's in, 
just got this little bit to do and I'm going to give myself a bit of a problem um, we'll get the next four bores here will encompass the fan um, and take us up to this piece of timber here but then I need to um, do this back bit I think I just need to pack out this beam a little bit because it is higher than the others um, yeah so and then build a boxing on the back here to box in the loo and the build the wall out a little bit um you know what it's, it's that i'm i can't think so what i'm going to do we're going to just check we've got enough how much um cladding we've got left to finish it off and um yeah let's have a look at that first right so we've got we need four pieces for that last bit and then another couple of pieces for the it's, 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 of course it's angled isn't it so they're, they're the square pieces up to the the vertical um, piece of timber you just saw in there but then it becomes complicated because it staggers in it's angled it's like everything else in this house wonky um what we've got i've got six more of an ampullely long pieces there so we've got enough to do it no problem at all um, I'm going to call it a day because they say it is hot and I can't think, you can't think when it's this hot um, but yeah we'll work that out tomorrow, it should be fairly simple when you start thinking things become obvious don't they uh, but for today we're going to leave it there so as always we hope you've enjoyed the video hopefully maybe learn something, I learn something every day um, that's just about my own stupid mistakes <laughs> um, so yeah if you have enjoyed it please consider subscribing put the little red button somewhere down there I don't know I can't see um, and click check the bell select all to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos because they are pretty gripping stuff you know and um, hopefully well, when you see this which will be what they say Friday and um, Saturday tomorrow we'll match that thousand subscribers um, fingers crossed there and thank you so much to all the people that have subscribed thank you to all the people that have supported us and thank you to every single person that's watched the videos and um, we'll be back tomorrow 